Hey, welcome to another video. In the previous videos, we talked about CLI, TeamKit, and all the Shopify development tools. So before I talk about how we can configure Tailwind CSS with Shopify CLI, let's talk about theme architecture. I would put it simple. Before you, make a, before you build any Shopify theme, you have to understand the structure of Shopify theme, what are the things that you need to know, and how it works. So in this video, I will talk about the structure of the theme, there are some limitations, and how things are related to each other. So if you are a beginner to Shopify theme development, I highly recommend you to watch this video multiple times, because it is difficult to understand it at once, even if I explain it step by step. And the more you watch, like the more um, video you watch in this series, uh, the easier it will get because I cannot explain everything in a short video, but I will do my best. So it is very important to watch this video and understand the basic structure of Shopify team. So let's dive deep. If you come to the documentation, it all starts from the architecture. Now it is really uh, clear if you go to overview the explain thing, but it is much better if we take a look at the theme itself. So if I explore, here is the thing you have to know. Shopify use a, lang a templating language uh, called Liquid and the Liquid basically have dy dynamic data. So the data is coming from Shopify in the terms of like variables that is already in Liquid. And the, your job is to put those variable or those data in the, your HTML and then design it your CSS. So in this video, as you know, we are going to use Liquid as a templating engine which Shopify offer and HTML and CSS for the structure and design, also JavaScript for interactivity of your our website. So these are the languages that we use. If I scroll down, themes in Shopify has a basic structure. I will scroll down to the bottom. This is the structure of the theme, and it has some folders that you cannot break the rule. For example, you have assets folder, you cannot have a subfolder inside it. Even if you have, Shopify will either ignore it or give you some error. Yesterday when I was working, I created a folder inside this asset, so the Shopify should ignore it. In ThemeKit, it used to ignore, but using CLI, it threw an error and it took some time for me to fix it. So never put any folder inside the assets. Since we are using Shopify CLI, that is going to cause an error. Config is where you put all the configurations, and let me say about the assets also. Inside the asset, you can put all your CSS, JavaScript images. If you have any, all of them will be in this directory. No subfolder at all. Inside the layout, you will put the master layout. Your whole website will have different layouts. Either, uh, and the layouts will be inherited by other pages. For example, you have checkout, which has, which has like a unique layout. It is not the same as like other parts of your website. So that will be inside the layout. You have a layout for none, which will nothing will display. You have a theme layout, which is the default one. You can have your own layout also, which we'll, we'll talk in the future. Inside the locals, you will put all the translation files. So we'll focus on that also. Sections. Sections are the most important of Shopify theme, and this is where I love it. Sections are reusable uh, blocks of Shopify where you can create page and use those sections in the pages. So let me show you this one in a practical example. If you come to the Shopify store that you have here, click in the customize. Now it will launch the customizer. The customizer is a great tool for customizing your theme, adding like bringing new changes. For example, this is one section called image banner and you can arrange it like rearrange it you can bring it up or down you can add more section if you scroll to the bottom these are all the sections that shopify offer in the down theme so all these sections will be inside the sections folder and then we have a snippets uh, a snippets are a um, basic block block of code that you can reuse in different sections imagine if you have a block of code that you use you repeat it a lot. So instead of repeating, you will put it inside a snippet and then you will render it inside the section. So you will put write it once. And we are going to focus more like we will uh, 
have more example in the video in this video series but for now the snippets is like components if you have ever created any JavaScript applications then you have template only inside the template you can have subfolder called customer inside the customer you have account and you have some uh, other templates for order and some other things that we will focus now so inside the template and as I said you cannot have your own folder if you have it Shopify either will ignore it or through an error in the root directory you can have a folder but Shopify will never put that in the Shopify directory so let's check out the code that, um, in, in the team that we have in here so inside the assets we have all the CSS and JavaScript probably an image too but we don't have it in here we have a lot of them and we are going to remove a lot of them so we have config this one is for VS Code, only VS Code specific some extensions and we have inside the config, we have all the configuration. We have something called setting schema. Settings are general setting in your store and you normally write a JSON uh, data in here. This JSON data will be rendered into a very nice setting in the admin. For example, you have this uh, text that you have here this is one block what Shopify does Shopify put all of this inside the translation whatever is start with T then two dots it is going to be inside the translation where do you find the translation inside the locals so all all of these are the translation so if you want to search for this is uh, sitting schema just give it a search and you can find these are all the translation you do not search it inside this one but inside the schema which is inside the locals file now let's check out this default the default one is in English this is the global and then we have header these are all objects if it is confusing to you don't worry we are not going to touch all of this but I showed you just an as example like how it is going to work it goes inside the color and it take the name instead of all of this you can directly say like colors it is totally fine the only reason people put translation is in the future if they translate their theme to another language it should be easy for them but I'm sure Shopify will one day realize that this is not the best way to put name in here so this was introduced I think a few months ago previously people just directly put their name because nobody would translate this part of the theme even if they did, they would directly come and do it in the theme setting. So I will close this for now. Let's come back. Now you understand this schema. Now let's see where is this render in the Shopify theme. If I come to my theme in here, close everything. You see this theme settings. So this theme setting is basically where all the settings are. As I said, we have the color in here. And this is the typography inside the typography we have all these fonts and then we have layouts button and everything is here you see it, there's a lot of like settings but we will focus more on how we can add our own setting in the future all you need to know for now is that these are the JSON that will be rendered as a setting inside Shopify I'll close this one and inside the layout currently we have a theme and password password is the front password which people will not be able to access our website unless they have the front password and this is the theme which other template will inherit from this now we will talk more about how the templating is going to work this is the master template but let's check out the locals yeah this is all the translations inside this we have sections we uh, we can open one of this for example if we check the image banner this is the image banner it is the combination of liquid HTML and CSS that is all you have to know and of course I am not a big fan of like writing too much CSS in here sometimes you have to do that uh, to make your your theme sections dynamic and easy to customize but I will close it for now and that's all you need to know inside the template you have customer inside the customer you have account activation address login and some other templates now inside the templates you have some other type of file called JSON. Now previously these were all liquid files. In Store 2.0 they are all JSON because the sections that you have in here 
all the section will be used inside the JSON templates. So if you want to customize your 404 page, you can create a section in here and then you, you can add the section inside the 404 page, which we will talk in the future. But for now, all you have to understand it, inside the template, you can have either a liquid template or a JSON template. So there is a get ignore file that we created um, and there is a theme check. We will talk about theme check license readme these are extra like this translation that uh yaml also these are extra thing we don't have to touch them but yeah that is the basic structure of a shopify team but you can come to the documentation you can read through this and what are the things that is possible and what is not possible if i miss anything basically that is all you need to know when you develop shopify team you have to know the structure you have to know the limitation so i hope this video has been informative thank you for watching and I will see you in the next video where I will configure Tailwind CSS with Shopify CLI.